Night of Monster Men. <laughs> Welcome back to Comic Book Punch. We're talking about Batman and the Night of Monster Men. Yep, yep. It's October. We're sticking with the whole scary theme. Um, we decided to pick a scary issue or comic series to read. Yep. And this just came out. And it was perfect timing. Oh, yeah. It, like It all like worked out because we were like, Man, Night of Monster Men. That's Let's perfect. Let's talk about that. That's perfect. It's got monsters. Mm -hmm. It's got men. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's even got dancing at monsters. Night? Wait, there's dancing monsters no. in there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did the mash. They should... <laughs> <laughs> the monster mash. That's great. Uh, uh, so what did you think of the comic series overall? Overall, um... I think it was an interesting like story. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely the... The f of the rebirth, the first like, um, like Bat Family. Yep. Yeah. Like, um, it's an um, interesting team. Cross, cross issue. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you get to see, you know, all of them working together, working together as a in team. this group. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I think, like overall, I I really, it was an interesting thing to see the team working together um and seeing this um you know return of uh hugo strange yeah yep wearing um, the bat suit it was definitely different it's weird <laughs> it's weird yeah because it, I mean... it starts because because it starts off with him all buff <laughs> yeah buff okay so it starts the story kind of starts they just flash to him working out Mm -hmm. buff swole but he's like naked like working out on the weight bench i don't know what that's all about some I don't, people some people like to work out I naked. Don't know. i can't i don't know why i think if i had had my decision in my own private gym room just doing cherry pickers all day working out that's yeah, just <laughs> oh, <no>. one two three. <laughs> <laughs> that's awful that's awful <laughs> and all and all the walls are just mirrors oh for sure well you gotta get every yeah. angle you know what i mean you, you gotta make sure like <laughs> lifting the dumbbells pumping iron that is perfect in the nude <laughs> that's gross <laughs> that's gross i'd have all the lights off at that point if there was mirrors everywhere i wouldn't be able to handle myself well it seemed like he had the lights off too no he was was he in the i don't know i think so Maybe it was just the moonlight hitting them, or that was like my fantasy of it. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Doctor Strange in the moonlight. <laughs> uh, yeah, there were a couple cool things that I liked about this comic. Um, so much the ending, I didn't really care so much. I think it was kind of like not as climactic as I wanted it to be, but I mean, it was still a good story. I, it was awesome to see the whole group come together and everyone kind of take a part of it. Um, yeah, everyone. Uh, Gotham Girl even got up. And, and did stuff even though Batman was advised her not to do so. And then, yeah. um, what's his face came in and rescued Batman? Uh, I keep forgetting his name. Duke. Duke. Duke stepped up. Which I still don't know his character is like. I have no idea who he his, is. His character's name. Or why he, goes, he keeps rocking that. He goes from being a Robin to now this, like, yellow. Yellow leathered like, suit. Bat, is yeah. it like a bat. It's like a Batman. Yeah, I don't know. Suit. But I don't know. I don't know where yellow know where Batman. comes from. But. I guess he's just going by Duke. Duke. Well, everyone comes together. They pull together as a team, and they uh, smash out all these weird-looking monsters. There was the... Um, they start off with this huge monster that kind of looked like an overgrown baby with a huge, demented head. And then there oh, was yeah. that dragon-slash-falcon bird monster whose heads keep multiplying. Um, then there was, like, the Grim Re Reaper monster with trees. I don't know. They're weird. They're really weird looking so, i think i i really liked the well i like that the like the monsters were getting bigger and yes bigger mm -hmm. um and i like the idea of the one that they had with the heads yeah kept, multiple like, multiplying. heads yeah that and was it wasn't cool. just like his head and it wasn't like a hydra right where mm -hmm. it, like grew another neck and a head or something like that it was just that a pretty much a head <laughs> growing out of its head then like, it just another head just this I, really long, like I think there was like it's five like a really like heads. long neck head. Yeah, I think there was like five <laughs> heads at the end of it. Yeah, the monsters were really really interesting. Um, one of the cool things that I thought about it too was uh, I thought Clayface definitely pulled his weight in this storyline. I mean, 
They uh, he kind of doubts his ability to spread his form out and make himself into multiple policemen, mm-hmm. so he can help like evacuate the city from these monsters. And even in the beginning, he's kind of doubting himself. He's like, I don't, I can only do this for like a couple hours. You know, you're asking yeah. for a lot. And then Batman's like, No, you're here to be redefined. You know, you're here to be this new character. You want to, you're a new person now. You got this. And even Batman was like, Yeah, if you have any problems, we we're a team. We got your back. We got yeah. your back. So it was kind of nice to see the teamwork come together. Yeah. I haven't been reading much of like the detective comics. Okay. Um, I read like the first, um, I think like first two issues. Yeah. And stuff. So I haven't really seen like much of Clay Clayface like, yeah. playing a part. The last time I saw Clayface in the comics though was in the New Fifty Two of Gotham Academy. Okay. And stuff. Um, because he had split himself to be one of the students oh right okay there. um yeah, that's crazy that's a crazy ability to do so and that student kind of like he does this thing because there was even an episode of the animated series where he splits himself mm-hmm. and that like form like actually starts taking on like a life and personality of its own oh and right. like f- it, like forgets like it is Clayface until oh, Clayface okay. like meets it again. Meets again? And they're like, I am I Clayface. I totally forgot about that episode. Yeah. Watching Which was it. cool. But that, it was like a, kind of like another thing in, in uh, yeah. Gotham, like, Gotham Academy. It was one of the students that was just like. It's an awesome concept. I, I don't but know. But seeing That's... him become this good guy. Mm-hmm. And, and I think you'll definitely see him push and do things that he never thought about doing before. Yeah, he's definitely being challenged. He's definitely pushing his abilities to the limits, which is good. And it's kind of like a transitional period for him. Uh, and it's working out. It's working out. I mean, what he does with Batman to battle uh, Gotham Girl as the monster, he straight up forms a clay suit around Batman. And that's awesome. I mean, the clay suit looks amazing in it. Um mm-hmm. Molly's message. Uh oh. That's right. <laughs> we can continue to talk. <laughs> but no, yeah. the pause. <laughs> but yeah, it's a the clay suit that Batman wears is is awesome. It's really really cool. Um. So. I'm telling to come inside. Come inside the house. <laughs> Um. Now with with one of the other characters, Gotham Girl, right, jumping into action. Yep. Um, because she's another person that that I think will continue to impress us. She's a whole new character. Um, and I like how she's like coming about. Um, because she's like wasn't like her brother, right? Her right. brother lived in this like darkness. Um you know, kind of like almost saw the same evils that um, Bruce Wayne saw. Like right. he was, parents were being mugged in an alley. Yep. Right. And they were going to get, parents were going to get killed and he was going to be left alone. Um, and his sister wasn't there at the time. She was, I think over at a friend's or something like that. Um, but then Batman swoops in and saves them. Right. And that's right. where they decided. Um, but she ended up seeing like the dark side of Gotham, yeah, um, because she was just following her brother and pretty much doing what he wanted, yeah. So she, now she's seen this darkness, and she'll definitely, I think, become more, um, I think, a, a darker character, like, right? Like right. Batman, right? Um, well, even I mean, I mean, wanted to do more and do something about it. But she has so much fear still inside of her. Yeah, and and you could see the dark side of her coming out too, because there's a scene inside the storyline where they take on a couple monsters inside the jail facility, mm-hmm. and her just attacking the monsters actually injures a couple of prisoners in there. So she's still kind of getting control of what she can do, but you can see that anger coming out, and she's borderline. She's borderline. She's she's trying to get back on the right path, but it's rough. Yeah, it's rough, and she's super powerful too. So that's a lot to handle. A lot to handle. So. It's, yeah, she's definitely a really interesting character, mm-hmm. and I want to see how all these things develop. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I think I think that might be. I think that might be it. I mean, you guys have to like read read this storyline because I think it's really cool. You get to see all the characters like taking their places. We didn't even talk about spoiler. 
really, or, yeah. or Orphan, mm-hmm. and their job was more of watching over the civilians. Yeah, they were protecting everyone um, in the cave and stuff. They did their But things part. got a little crazy for them on, mm-hmm. on their part. Like, things got a little crazy for everybody. Yeah. yeah. Um, unexpected things. So, but... Night of Monster Men. Pick it up. Check it out. Let us know. There's six six issues. There's six issues, yeah. yeah. Um, and it takes part over Batman, Nightwing, and Detective Comics. Yep. Yep. All available yeah. now. Pick them up. Read them. Check it out. Let us know what you think. Yeah. So, like, comment, subscribe. And also watch our sideshow, because we're going to be... Um, oh yeah, this is gonna be just, awesome. Just this just arrived in the mail, and we're gonna be unboxing <laughs> our Doctor Strange, Marvel's Collector's Corpse. Awesome. It better be like a glowing ball in there or something, or like if you open the box, he pops out. <laughs> he comes out like a genie, but he's only here for a moment. <laughs> oh, that would be so cool. Um, just a Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> I'm not even thinking of a Doctor Strange. <laughs> just a Cumberbatch in the room. That's hilarious. All right. <laughs> See you guys. Punch out. That's a good one. Yeah, I've been saying that. Saying that. It's catchy. <laughs>